chance actually to do a broadcast with Eli. Some women's wrestling. A very bright young man. Yep, he's a uh, he's a big leader on our team. He kind of makes everyone feel included. It's he's uh, he's been super big on pushing that team chemistry, which in in wrestling is a huge huge aspect often overlooked. So he's been really good about that. Bond trying to get his get him in a headlock there. We'll see if Holiday can bounce out of it. First period, both wrestlers back to their feet. Nice job by Holiday, kind of shaking free. Right back at it, they go. Goes for a single leg, can't connect. And Holiday, you know, a little bit more long and lean as we talked about the different body types you'll see in wrestling. Yeah, yeah, this uh, this weight class specifically, kind of like the 49 through like 74 area is where you really see those different body types. Um, Eli can kind of get to different places, and obviously I'd be able to with, with our weight differences and stuff. So it's it's always fun watching these middle weight classes just battle it out and just letting it fly. Dead even so far, no score between these two. And there are three for Holiday. Perfect example of uh, where Eli's kind of, kind of better with his body type there, having those longer limbs, he's able to get that ankle a little bit easier. Yeah, you're right, the reach and then and even the long legs, being able to yep. wrap up your opponent like that. Yep, exactly. It's Holiday on top, 3 nothing, coming up on a minute and 10 seconds in the first period. He's in a good position here. Now, now if you're down, if you're, if you're bond here, what, what is going through your mind? Uh, first, you, you don't want to freak out here. You don't want to be playing on your legs, opening up your hips for him. You kind of just want to keep calm, slide forward, get that leg out, and, and build your base and try to get that reset. As Holiday staying on top, 40 seconds to go. And looks like we got a whistle, and we'll reset. Just over 30 seconds left to go here in this first period. And so Bond will start down. And one point for Bond as he slips free. So three to one. Now he's got that right leg. Let's see what Holiday can do with it. Trying to sweep the other leg. And, and this, I, I've got to imagine, is where having some longer limbs comes in play. Yeah, exactly. Yep. It, it definitely makes it a little bit easier getting that trip, getting that head, being able to club it and stuff. So it's Eli's able to finish pretty easily there against most wrestlers. So Three-point takedown for Holiday. He's got a 6-1 to one lead as we end the first period. Late, late takedown in that period was big, not giving, uh, giving Bond a chance to fire back a score, getting one off that stand-up or anything, so that was good by Eli. So Bond will start on top. Let's see what he can do with it. Did different ref wrestlers have a, a preference uh, of how you want to start the second period? Uh, yeah, there's there's a few different ways. Like me, I, I, I got a good bottom, so I'm able to kind of score there pretty easily. So it kind of just depends on how the match is going, how you wrestle. 7-1 Holiday on top now. And shooting low. The players down on their mat as Holiday trying to spin to the back of Bond. He's got that right leg again. Great job coming up by Eli there. It's super easy to get stuffed underneath there, get stuck, have to lift that body weight. But he, he did a really good job of being able to build up there. Another three-point takedown for Holiday. He's up 10-2 to two on the scoreboard. Now let's see what Bond can do here. Yep, here's what I was talking about, having to lift that body weight wow. with your back. It's tough to do. Really was, impressive. Yep, impressive strength from Eli, uh, Eli Holiday right there. He takes a 13-2 to two lead. I, that position he was in, I, where does that strength come from? <laughs> I, not one to get scored on that. <laughs> does not have a great angle to lift a human being up, but somehow able to do it 13-3 to three now as Bond continues to fight. 
Coming up on 30 seconds here in the second period. Really good pressure from Bond on top here. It's, it's tough to get out once your head's getting pushed down like that. So Bond's resting perfect in this position right here. Coming up on 10 seconds. Both wrestlers back on their feet. 13-3, Holiday with the lead. Takes a shot down low, nothing there. And that'll do it for the second period. Holiday appears to be in control, however. Seen it before, I'll see it again. You can see a quick pin and somebody steal a match. Yep. You can't lose your concentration even for a second. Especially against somebody like Bond, a senior. They shoot slow again. Bond does a really good, good job of keeping that pressure on the back of Eli's head, making him look down, not really giving him a chance to stand up with that leg. Bond takes a shot around the right leg of Holiday. Lift and spin. Nothing there, though. Both wrestlers really reacting to each other well right there as Holiday gets to spin around back for three points. So very easily could have ended up poorly for either one. I think both did a pretty good job. Yeah, exactly. Super, super technical match by Holiday. I know the score kind of, kind of doesn't show that, but this has been a super technical match by both wrestlers. It's been, it's been awesome to watch this one. Holiday with the lead, 16 to four, under a minute to go here in the third period. Takes a shot. Holiday able to swing around again. And in the win. 19 to four. Lumpos extend their lead on the team scoreboard as well. Big win there for Eli Holiday. Your winner by technical Chase ball, Bond. Eli Holiday. Presbyterian with a 16-3 lead. 